Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unusual Findings, where we're checking out the lookout point, or whatever it's called. Um, we've not been here yet, there is a sign light, and we're just going to see basically what we can do here. So let's start by looking Someone outside. stole the light bulb. It makes sense if you want privacy. Ah, now we do have a light bulb. An infrared one. Oh. Done. I'm not sure... Is this working? I see little difference. Well, that's the magic of infrared light. Oh, I see. No, you don't. <laughs> that's like the whole point. Yeah. All right, well, I'm not sure what we want to use that for just yet, but we've done that, so that's a thing. Oh, there's a beer bottle. Can we take that? Oh, hello, sorry. It's sticky and smells weird. I'd rather not touch it. Okay, we don't want to touch it, that's fine. Uh, so there's all sorts of broken glass down here. Seems like someone was throwing bottles from his car. Yeah, perhaps so. Uh, it's a convertible with people in it. It's a red convertible. Cool. It's a 1985 Cadillac Eldorado. My sister's new boyfriend has a car exactly like that. Oh, really? That's interesting. Um, there's a kissing couple. Not much to see there. <laughs> it's just a couple making out. Although, if we were in a horror movie... Yeah, these guys would be getting eaten by the monster. The right? alien would show up right now and kill them. Yeah, and I mean, the alien has... Yeah, and wait a minute. That's Brandon, my sister's new boyfriend. Oh! He's cheating on her? And with Sophia Lombardo, I knew he was a scumbag! What should we do? Nothing. I'm gonna rat him out. I want her to see this with her own eyes. Ah, so maybe we go back and tell her about this then. That could be a thing. South Plains sign. It's the city sign. Kind of like the Hollywood sign, but with no class. <laughs> What's this sign? The sign was vandalized. I guess no one will ever know that the next road to the left leads to Darkestville. What a stupid name for a town. Yeah. It is a pretty stupid name. A lot of rivalries going on. Hey, what's this? WD-404 penetrating oil. What is going on here? Jesus. It's a can of WD-404 penetrating oil. Very useful as lubricant to free rusted mechanical parts. Ah. What is this doing here? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think someone had a terrible night misunderstanding the words lubricant and penetrating oil. You think that someone... Oh... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is sick. I mean, can we take this? Sure. Yeah, nice, okay. We can. Um <laughs> That van is moving a lot. It's That Volkswagen Type 2 is moving a lot. Too bad. The suspension on that thing isn't that good. I guess somebody took the free candy at the park today. Oh man, that that's sick! Messed up. What? It was just a joke. Ah, seriously messed up, dude. Can we shout? They probably aren't going to hear me. Oh, okay. I mean, can we just use this on the squeaky suspension? I'd rather not. No, I didn't think so. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess next step then is to go back and grass them up. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for yet but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Um, which house do we want to go to here? It's Vinny, right? Is it Vinny? I'm sure if it is. Opening the door will make it pretty obvious that I escaped. No, so we're Vinny. How many times and do I have I'm to... For I keep forgetting the guy's names. <laughs> So we're Vinny, that's Nick, and that's, well, whatever, <laughs> I can't remember the names. Nick, Tony, it's Tony, okay, so we want to go to Tony's street, right? Oh yeah, this is the place with the guy with the lights who designed the game, right? What was it he wanted from us? Hello, Gary. Hello, kids. Um, mm, 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 I see you have a problem. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I may 
made a mess with this cable, and now I can't reach the plug with oh. it. Oh. I think I need another extension cord. Of course. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Ah, oh, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Hang on. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. So, right. That's fine, because now we know what we need that extension cable for. I'd forgotten about that. Anyway, let's, let's head inside. This thing's zip tied to the knocker. Are you trying to steal our wreath? I just want to go in. No. I just, I just want to go in. Can we? Tony's front door has a Christmas wreath up. All right, maybe we don't go here. Okay, all right. Maybe we go to Nick's street then. One of these guys- I can only see a badly maintained hedge. This kind of shrub is really dense. Buxus sempervirens, commonly known as boxwood. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so I know one of these guys said they had some of the, like, the tools and things from our tree house at their house. Was it this one? So we can go into Nick's house. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. This is, the, this is the one, right? With the boyfriend, who is up at the bit. Hello. Uh, give me a minute. Um, we just saw Brandon cheating on you with Sophia Lombardo. We just saw Brandon cheating on you with Sophia Lombardo. Shut up. We did. It's true. We just saw him. Nick, I know you don't like Brandon, but you shouldn't lie like that. But it's the truth. You will see that Brandon is a good guy. You should give him a chance. He is cheating on you! Sorry, I don't believe you. Uh, okay, fine. We might need to get some sort of proof. Goodbye. I mean, we do have this camera that we might be able to use to do that, I suppose. So, I'll tell you what, for now, let's leave that. Because, oh, because something else I want to do is see if we can get this extension cord which was out by the bridge, wasn't it? So we had this guy here, he's got a spare extension cord, but he asked us to help his his friend. Yeah, there's the extension cord. So he said we had to get the other guy to help with the wires, Hello. Right? but he's colorblind. Hey kiddos, what do you need? Um, can we help? You seem pretty busy. Is there any way we could help? Yeah, you see that Kenny guy over there? Yes. That's Andre. Could you please point out to him what cable of the green one? He is colorblind. Okay. All right, fine. So Andre, I'm sending over some kids to help you find the green cable. Please don't screw it up this time. Fine. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. So last time we did the green one, right, and nothing happened. So we can tell him to do the other one. I don't know if that's Hello, sir. a good thing to do or not. Hey, kids. Um, the man over there told me I should point out the cable you need to work on. Oh yeah, being colorblind can be annoying sometimes. So I mean, we pointed out the green one and nothing happened. I, I don't know if this is going to go badly wrong because I believe there are like multiple endings to this game, so this could be a terrible idea. But I don't really see what else we can hey. do. Let's just see what happens if we do this. Oh. Hey, this is something new. Sparky. You had a car over there to pass me the wrench. Oh, so maybe we were supposed to do the blue one. Okay. Hello. Hey, kiddos. What do you need? Um, Andre told me to ask you for the wrench. Andre told me to ask you for the wrench. Okay, give me a minute. Here you go. Andre, I'm sending you the rent you asked for. <laughs> nice. Right. right, well, so we've got the wrench now. So, I mean, do we just keep the wrench or should we give it to him? That's the question, right? I mean, 
We could keep it, I suppose, but I mean, what would be the point of doing that? Thanks. Let's see. Oh, smoke? I'm not sure if that's good or not. Hey, there's something funny going on with the bridge. It's a short circuit. You should check it before everything catches ah, fire. Distraction. You know too much. Something tells me you had something to do with no, it. No, it's just really smart. It was all my fault. I gave him the wrong tool by mistake. Tony and Nick have nothing to do with it. It wasn't my intention to cause any trouble. It's okay. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. For not handling the tools myself. Yeah, you're gonna get You were just trying to help. Anyway, it's really good to see that you assume responsibility for your actions. And didn't try to. Carl, are you there? Yes, what is going on? I think that they're catching fire. Uh -oh. Are you gonna help? Oh my god! Alright, and while he's gone, seeing as we're nice kids and responsible and everything. What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to burn down the bridge? It ain't my fault. These things are too complicated. How the hell did you set this on fire with just the wrench? <laughs> Sometimes I think you are a gremlin in disguise. Give me some space. Alright, well, while he's doing that, let's steal this extension cord. The cable is secured with a plastic security seal. I can't take it off. Are you kidding me? Those things are designed to be almost impossible to break with your bare hands. Don't try using your teeth. My cousin lost two trying to cut <laughs> one of those. Do we have anything that could help? I mean, maybe this? That doesn't have number six bolts. Okay. Anything here? No, so we're going to need something like scissors to cut through it, I suppose. It's a van. But it's a red omen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh We've seen this before. Okay, well, we're going to need something to get through that. So, until we can find whatever that is, like scissors or a knife or something, we're a little bit stuck there. So, let's go back to Lover's Lane. We've obviously got to do something with this. Can we use the camera here? Okay. Let's see if this works ah, with infrared yeah, light, the infrared light, as infrared light, okay. So we obviously had to set this up first. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't hear that. Perfect. All right, we got it. Nice. I told you, but why do you want that picture? I thought that Nick was the pervert. There's nothing like that. Don't be an idiot. Now we have proof that Brandon is secretly dating Sophia Lombardo. Who the hell is Sophia Lombardo? She's literally there. You don't know her? She's the cheerleading captain. No, nope. no idea who she is. All right, well, I mean, just because you don't know, that's your business. Let's go back and show this photo. Um, Nick Street. Go to the right street this time, shall we? No, stop looking at the hedge. But the position of, like, the hedge is, is like, right where you click to move across. It's a bit annoying. Um, anyway, let's go into the, the house. Right, well, what do you make of this? What? <laughs> Brandon, you cheating bastard! I'll teach him! Thanks, Nick. Now I'll teach that jerk a lesson. Go on then, Wait, how are you gonna do that? Oh. Alright, well, now he's on the phone. Is this all some ploy to get the phone? Oh my god! That seems very extreme. Wow, your sister is about to commit a murder. Aren't we supposed to do something about that? I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, she won't kill him. She's done this before. Twice. Oh, good. Oh. Is anyone in your family not a potential psychopath? <laughs> Am I the only one thinking about the missed opportunity of having a firearm with us while looking for a killer that, alien? That would be good. To be honest, no. All right, well, I mean, can we use the phone in some way? Was that what we were doing? Hello. Hi, guys. Um, who are you planning to call? Who are you planning to call? Today, it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. Oh, yeah, he does prank calls. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. 
If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Oh. Do we have a number? Goodbye. Bye, guys. Do we have a number at all? We've got this card. It's a pretty fancy card for a place that sounds so cheap. Where is this club, anyways? About 20 minutes by car from here. Or so I've heard. <laughs> um, I don't know that we've got, a, a, like, a, a number of anybody. I mean, we can... Hello. See if the game suggests anything. Hi, guys. Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Hmm, okay, so it seems like maybe we've got to get a number and get him to prank call somebody. Goodbye. Bye, guys. So maybe that'll be our next task, right? Finding a number for, who, for him to prank call. And also looking for someone that can help us remove that extension cable from the back of the van. But we'll do that in the next one because we are out of time. Um, quite a bit of progress made in this one, which is really good. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Jonathan Conley, and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time.